In this video, I'm overclocking the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 7980X 64 core processor all the way up to 5750 MHz using the Asus Pro WS TRX50 Sage motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the AI Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to DOCP1. That enables ASUS Direct Overclock Profile technology, which replicates the behavior of AMD Expo. In our case, it sets the memory frequency to DDR5-6800. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 Overclockers Toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. The main bottleneck for maximizing system performance is the PPT limiter. By increasing it from 350 watt to 2000 watt, we have plenty of headroom for the Precision Boost 2 algorithm to push this CPU to its maximum performance. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed if max or maximum frequency up 200 MHz in steps of 25 MHz. Note that the standard FMAX for CCD0 is 5650 MHz and only 5350 MHz for CCDs 1 to 7. Set the max CPU boost clock override plus to 200. This increases each CCD's FMAX by 200 MHz. The new FMAX for the CPU is thus 5850 MHz for CCD0 and 5550 MHz for CCDs 1 to 7. This also changes the C state boost limit frequency from 4.8 GHz to 5 GHz when 8 or more cores are active. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a negative or positive direction. Each step represents around 5 mV. On Ryzen Threadripper 7000, we can set Curve Optimizer for the whole CPU, per CCD or per core. Set Curve Optimizer to per core. Set Core 0 to Core 63 Curve Optimizer sign to negative. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. It's the former that we need in our overclock. Note that the curve optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. I set the curve optimizer magnitude for each core according to my own test result. The curve optimizer magnitude range from minus 5 to minus 30. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark results are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 32.35% in Blender Classroom. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5750 MHz. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU core effective clock is 4795 MHz with 1 volts. The average CPU temperature is 94.6 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 26.3 and 40.5 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power and system input power is 768 and 855 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.